Hello everyone. Today's video, will be a little bit different than my regular videos, it won't be a technical analysis video. I will answer one of the most asked questions in the comments. Which charting software do I use while trading? And it will be like a quick tutorial for TradingView.com. I hope you will enjoy it. And if you want to see more educational content, please like and subscribe, it keeps me motivated to upload more videos. If you are new to trading, it might be hard to decide on which charting software to use. I believe that, TradingView is the best one for new traders. Because it has all the necessary things you look for while trading, and it is totally free. Ok, let's keep things short as promised, and start right away. Let's open the TradingView.com, and start the tutorial. Before starting the video, I must say that, I am not paid from TradingView, and it is not a sponsored video, I use the platform, I like it and I created the video just for educational purposes. The first thing we should do after opening the site, is to sign up. It is totally free and if you don't sign up, you will see lots of pop-ups while looking at the chart. You may find the referral sign up link in the description box. And if you use it you can get a bonus up to $30, if you decide to upgrade to the paid version after, and at the same time, I will get a small commission. But, it is up to you, you can sign in by yourself if you want to. If you don't want to use it you should click the sign up box here. At the opening sign up window, you can sign up using Google, Facebook, etc. After signing up, I will click here, on the launch chart icon. You can also click on the chart icon here on the top menu. Or you can search the instrument you want to check here, for example, let's say that you want to check Apple's stock chart, you just have to search for it, after clicking you will see the basic line chart of Apple. But we will click on the full feature chart icon to open our real chart. Now we have our chart on the screen. Don't worry if your chart looks different than mine. I will show you how to modify it step by step. The first thing you must do, is to be sure that you see candlesticks as I do, instead of a line chart. So we will go to this icon here, and select the candles option. There are many options such as bars in the line chart, but most of the traders including myself use the Japanese candlesticks for technical analysis. Because candlesticks provide much more information than the line chart. If you are new to trading, you might want to stick with a line chart. But if you want to be a great trader, you must learn how to read candlesticks. So, the first change we have made was the candlesticks. And the next thing I want to change is the settings. I will start with the dark mode, because I am used to it and the screen is too bright for me now. To change it, you have to right click and go to the color theme option, and you have to change light into the dark mode. Perfect. If you want you can stick with the light mode, it depends on your preferences. After changing the color mode, I want to show you changing the settings. To change the settings you can right click and go to the settings options, or you can click the icon on the top menu. First, I will close the extended hours option, since it makes the chart confusing. After that, if you want you can change the bar colors here, it is up to you. Some old school traders prefer black and white bars, but I prefer green and red ones. So I will not change them. Now, the chart looks similar to what I like, but I enjoy the chart even darker. So, I will change the background to complete black. To do that, I will open the settings window again and go to the appearance section, and I will change the background color to black. If you don't enjoy it, you don't have to change settings at all. I am just trying to show you the settings, I enjoy. And the next thing I want to change is the lines on the chart, the vertical and horizontal ones that look like a box. I sometimes use them, and sometimes don't, depending on my mood. To get rid of them. You have to click on the box right next to grid lines section and you have to decrease the opacity to zero. Now our chart is much cleaner, and price action is way easier to watch. If you like these settings, you can save them. You have to click on the template box here, and select save as. You have to be logged in, in order to save it. And your save setting will appear below the template box after you sign in. The next thing I want to show you is called auto scale. You might have noticed that, when you move the chart, it will zoom in and zoom out. And it gets annoying sometimes. Also, you are not able to move the chart up and down, you can move it just sideways. To fix this issue, you have to click the auto button here. And after clicking that, you can move your charts freely. It will not zoom in or out, and you can move it as you want. If you are lost with the price, or don't want to move the chart by yourself, you can turn it back on anytime. I think it is enough with the styling. Now let's start with the fun stuff. Let's say that you want to check another stock, or you want to check the chart of Bitcoin or something else. You have to click here, and you can search for anything you want. 
You can check stocks, forex pairs, CFDs, crypto, etc. Let's check the euro to dollar parity on forex markets. Here you can find it easily. If you cannot find the thing you are looking for, you can just search the ticker here. Let's check the chart of Netflix. The ticker is NFLX, and when you search it, it will be on top. Don't worry if you don't know the ticker. You can just search the name and it will be there. And TradingView has a cool future, which is called the watch list. You can see that on the right side of the chart, there is a watch list. And to add something to your watch list, you can just right click and select add to watch list option. And it will be added to the bottom of your list. After it is in your list, you can navigate easily between instruments. It can really save you time when you are lost between charts. Up next, I want to show you how to change the time frame. Right now we are looking at the hourly chart. What do I mean by that? Each candle on the chart represents one hour now. Let me explain. Since our time frame is one hour each of the candles shows us how the price changed in one hour. If it is a green candle that means the price moved upwards, and if it is a red candle, price decreased. In green candles, the bottom of the rectangle is where the candle opened, the line below shows the lowest price of the hour, and the upper line shows the highest price, and the upper corner of the rectangle is where the candle closed. But it is not a technical analysis video, so I will not explain the candles further. But you can change the time frame here. If you change it to 4 hours, it means that, each candle will now represent 4 hours. You can add time frames you use regularly to your favorites, and they will appear here. Let's talk about one of the most asked topics, indicators. Right now, you can see the volume indicator on the screen. It is the bars you see on the bottom of the chart. And they show us how much trading has occurred at each candle. Each bar represents volume for one hour. To hide this indicator, you just have to click on the hide button right next to volume. And you can remove it by clicking the X button right next to it. To add a different indicator, you have to find the indicators button on the top menu, and you can search for any indicator you want to use. Let's add MACD for example. I will just search for MACD and click on it, and it will appear on the chart. You can add indicators you use the most, to your favorites by clicking the star next to their names. And they will appear in your favorites section, next to the indicators icon. Same way, you can add candlestick patterns too. This feature was not available until this year, and it might be really useful for new traders. When you add a candlestick pattern, it will be highlighted on your chart. It can really make things easier for you while backtesting a strategy. Here comes the best part of the TradingView platform, and it is the tools. You might have noticed the menu on the left side of the screen. And there are many useful tools that you can use while trading. You can use these drawing tools to draw trend lines, channels, support and resistance areas. And there are many other useful tools such as the Fibonacci retracement and pitchfork tool. You can click the star icon to add tools to your favorite drawing tools bar, and you can access them on your screen. I will not explain all of the tools one by one since it is not a technical analysis video. But I recommend you to play with them, until you get comfortable. You can check my previous videos for technical analysis and trading strategies tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please leave a thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials like this. Don't hesitate to comment me if you have any questions, and you can also comment down what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Have an amazing and profitable day.